Hey YouTube, Felix037 here, bringing you a dollar binder update for June 6th, 7th, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to get started quick because we have 8 binders to go through. And yeah, I know I said um, on Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah, I believe it was Tuesday, uh, that the dollar binder update would not go up. Um, I'm hoping everyone saw that post, but I explained that um, I purchased a collection last week, uh, one of my... Buds is getting out of the game, so I bought all of his smaller stuff last week. So you know, like a bunch of dollar cards, stuff like stuff, stuff like this. And um, it just took a while to get everything organized and alphabetized and put into the binders like I wanted them. And so originally, I was supposed to put this up yesterday, Wednesday, and I, I didn't get everything done. So what I decided to do was to record the first part of the video so it was going to be the first three binders but then what happened while I was recording I got to the last binder and I realized it was the wrong one so uh, I was gonna post that but I decided that it would be just better to wait until I had everything done and then I would just post the whole video so all eight binders and yeah that brings us to today until Thursday um, just ignore this, I kind of screwed everything up. Uh, these are DT. But anyways, this is the Dollar Binder video uh, for anyone who is new to these videos. Uh, each card is $1 each. I have an ongoing special where if you buy 5 cards you get one for free. So essentially you're paying $5 for 6 cards. And that works as many times as you want, honestly. So if you buy 10 cards, you you can get two for free if you buy 20 you get four for free so on and so forth so just hopefully you guys will take advantage of that I always appreciate the buying um, some other rules are that I don't send first um, shipping is worldwide but I do uh, charge an extra dollar an uh, extra dollar for uh, international shipping um, methods of payment I prefer PayPal but cash and money orders work just fine. Um, as for the cards themselves, uh, all of them are hollow or dual terminal to some extent. So there are DT commons in here and rares and up. Other than that, they're supers. They're all, they're all foils. So um, not all of them are English though. There are a couple cards in here that are foreign. Uh, I'm not really sure off the top of my head what's what, but. Uh, if you guys send me a list of stuff you want and it turns out that one of the cards is not in English, I will be more than happy to tell you what language it is. And if you don't want it, that's fine. I understand some people don't want to use them. But if you do, then great. As for the condition of these cards, um, most of them are mint to near mint. There are some that are damaged though. And I will point those out to you. If it's uh, like very, very slight minor damage like you know a little edge wear or whatever I probably won't say anything at first um, but if you do want to know the exact condition of all your cards just let me know I'll be more than happy to tell you that um, what else I think that covers all the dollar binder stuff um, if you want something just send me a, a message please don't go through comments asking for stuff um, I know some people like to watch my videos on mobile phones and if you guys want stuff just please wait till you get on the computer or something because it's really difficult to message you with uh, doing comments so I would appreciate if you send me a message um, anything else uh, when you do, when you guys send out please make sure to include something that I can use to identify who you are like if you want to write your username like on the back of the envelope That'd be fine if you. Uh, the most ideal thing for you to do, like in my opinion, is to like actually send me a list inside the envelope of your username and what you're buying. So that way, well, because I usually have all your stuff so like separated. I have everyone's stuff in a penny sleeve with your uh, username on it. So it, it's really quick that way because I just go through the penny sleeve and I make sure all the cards in there are what you wrote on the list. And if not, then I have to go through digging through stuff. But it just speeds up the process. The process makes my life a little easier, especially when I have tons of people, you know, messaging me and sending me stuff. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd appreciate it. 
Um, that should cover any all the dollar binder rules. Um, as for other general updates, um, I know the uh, the bargain miners were supposed to go up yesterday, but they were delayed due to this. Um, I would post them today, except that I have locals today. I'm heading over there pretty much right after I'm done recording this. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to locals, and after I get back, I'll have some new stuff, stuff I'll have sold. So the bargain miner video will go up tomorrow, and should actually re reflect what I have. So sorry for the delay. It's just. I had to incorporate all the stuff, all the new stuff that I got into the binders. I didn't, I didn't want to post a, a dollar binder video on Tuesday with, you know, only some stuff in there. I didn't have to wait, you know, a whole week in order to update it, so. Realize it's not ideal, but I thought it was the best thing to do. If you guys can't see what something is, because the glare, especially like that card, uh, just send me a message with the timestamp and where which page it's on, like left or right, and we're on the page. I'd be more than happy to let you guys know what a card is. I realize I am going kind of fast. Uh, I just have to meet that 941 limit, well, ideally, so I don't have to go in and put the two videos together. Uh, but I do have an extra binder this time. So I usually have seven, now I have eight to show. So. Du -du -du. Some more fusions. For some stuff, I do have more than just what's uh, in the binders. If I have three or something, the odds are that I do have more. Uh, it's just extra stock. Honestly, that's probably why it took me so long to get through stuff because I had to separate a bunch of stuff. Because if I actually put in, you know, all the cards that I have, I probably would have another five or six binders to show. But they're all just duplicates of these of this stuff, so not gonna do it. Um, some stuff I do have uh, different rarities. Um, looking for an example right now. As soon as it shows up, I just I just don't know. Um, like, oh, well, I guess it's kind of different because those D draws there's two dual terminal ones and one secret one. I do have another dual terminal one in the uh, overstock. So, you know, stuff like that. Hopefully you guys should be able to tell what rarity everything is from the video. It's pretty, pretty clear. Has been recently, thanks to the new camera. I just, actually, it's kind of weird now that I think about it. I still consider the camera new, and yeah, I've been using it for over six months now. Well, almost six months. About then. All right, I'm gonna re have to really speed this up now because I got about a minute and a half left. And fortunately, the second to last binder, the next one, is very short because it's just the end of the traps. And I'll probably have about a minute to go through the last binder. If you guys are looking for anything specific, feel free to message me with the list of stuff that you need, and I can I'll gladly look through my stuff for it. Uh, this is the 50 cent binder. Each card is 50 cents. Um, there's no other discounts or anything like that. It's just 50 cent flat rate each. I mean, it's not the best binder in the world, but you know, I'm trying to get rid of stuff for cheap that I really, really do not want to have. Uh, this stuff was supposed to be blocked off when I went to Long Beach, and it didn't happen, so you know I'm kind of stuck with it. But hopefully, you guys want some stuff too. I got about 30 seconds, so I just want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, if you want to buy something, just send me a list, send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I'm backed up on my messages right now. I haven't been able to check them, and I wanted to focus on this rather than going through messages and you know taking up my time that way. But I will get to your messages tomorrow after, because I have locals tonight. So tomorrow I'll be answering messages. And again, thanks for watching. Send me a message if you want something.